staying informed as this process moves forward. I have personally been involved from the beginning. Mr. Anderson was suspended from his coaching duties for three weeks with pay. Yeah. At that point in time, additional information was received that required us, by law, to report the information to the Oak Ridge Police Department. They are now handling the investigation. We as the Board of Education will not resolve this situation in the media or on Facebook, and we cannot speak at this time on personnel issues. We will follow our policies to see that all factual information is presented and an appropriate decision is made. I hope that each of you will allow us to complete that process and not make decisions based on suspicion and half-truths. Furthermore, threats to board members are not warranted or valued and only serve to distract from finding the truth for the issue at hand. Let's let the process that has been established work. I'm here to support Eddie Anderson because he's been such an important part of my life because he was of my daughter's life and all of her friends, along with hundreds, possibly thousands of other people who Eddie has mentored, coached, and taught with his coaching and his teaching of uh, chemistry and uh, his friendship and his uh, leading the ski team. Uh, I mean the ski club, which is not a paid position. He just did that in his spare time. And so I just, you know, I can't bear the thing. It's, it's broken my heart to think how he's been treated uh, over something. Who knows what, I don't know what, you know, I know what I learned from a couple of co other coaches. And it's, you know, it's nothing that I've heard would warrant this kind of treatment. Hi, I'm the parent of an Oak Ridge student that is a, uh, a member of, of the AP Chemistry class uh, taught by Eddie Anderson. And we're, we're all of us very, very unhappy about the fact that he has been pulled from the classroom over allegations that are unclear and, have, and, and no light has been shed upon why this action was taken. It's definitely detrimental to the, to the children and their education, and it's absolutely detrimental to the district and its reputation. That we had a pretty great turnout. Um, I would have to guess around 200 people. Um, unfortunately, because this was a specially called board meeting, they could not, um, it would be against the rules to have any of us speak on something that had was irrelevant to the meeting itself. Um, on the 26th, there will be a meeting specifically for Eddie Anderson, and I believe that many opinions will be heard at that point in time. Uh, but all in all, it, it was a, a, a positive turnout for tonight.